All right, and I'm talking about Liam today, and we're going to be watching their skills run. This is a 57-point skills run in uh, 55 seconds, so five-second stop time, which is pretty pretty outstanding. That's pretty uh, pretty insane. I mean, you're driving, so can you tell us a bit, little bit about this about this run? I mean, I see you scoring that alliance stake pretty quick there, but also uh, I do want to right. point out that your intake is, is what's stopping so, you from getting 60. Yeah, so... The route, it, it gets all 60, but as you see, it misses a lot of rings due to the fact that our intake is not consistent. I, I'm surprised you're able to pull that off consistently. That's a pretty, like, hard maneuver there, like, because you're not, like, able to see that really well. Yeah, yeah, we have our, because our lift dies very fast. Mm -hmm. We have our um, intake, or our lift on post. That was a so very quick I, grab. That was a, that was a yeah. very good grab. We have an auto clamp. I see, I see. Oh, wow. Wait, what do you use for, for the auto clamp? We just use a distance sensor in the back, and then when it just sees anything, since a ring or nothing else can fit there, uh, it just yeah. will clamp, and yeah. it works very well. And, and it's very nice, especially when you can't see those goals on behind the bar and stuff, or when your robot's facing away. It's very nice. Yeah, guys, it, wait. Like, that's kind of tech, though. Auto clamp might be tech. Auto, t yeah. Hey, take notes. Yeah, like, it buzzes the controller as well, so I know if it like hits it or not. Mm, I see. Oh yeah, cause cause I was whenever I like drove your robot a little bit, I I was like clicking it and it was like buzzing, and I was like, "What's going on?" Mm. You kind of got lucky here though. <laughs> that blue ring not oh, going on. <laughs> that that oh, yeah, definitely yeah, should have. That's my color, color sorting. That's your color sorting. How, how do you use your color sorting then? Um, hope. Hope. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. I'm so shocked. Otherwise, wouldn't that wouldn't this run have been a zero then? No, no, no. no. Uh, it just basically, if a blue ring scored, it just count. It doesn't count as a top ring, so it would have been a fifty-five. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I mean, that's still that's still solid. Yeah. Hey. So, I mean, this route is this route's able able to get like sixty-two points. Yeah, yeah. So we. We our bot since it was it's not very consistent. We we took out some of the rings in order to save time for Prague. Yeah. And I use the same route for drivers. So, but I think I'm probably going to switch to uh, trying to get all the red rings. I don't think I'll be able to get blue rings unless our intake becomes very consistent. Yeah, but I mean, definitely excited to see what you guys can do at the next tournament. This is a really impressive run. Do you think that you guys can get I mean top five in the world as long as that Prague hits? Yeah, I mean, it's really just up to Prague because, like, the route for Prague is very consistent. However, the intake, the intake <laughs> is, is kind of messes it up. Like, I fix it in driver, I'll spin the intake the other way in order to make the rings not get stuck. Yeah. But in Prague, you can't really control that. So would you would you uh, change your intake to a hook then? Yeah, uh, for a rebuild, we are going to be doing hook. All right, well, that sounds good.